Okay, my name's Gary Frost. Um, I come from a slightly different background to Steve. I come out of the health service. Most of my career has been in the health service as a dietitian. And it's only very latterly that I've actually transferred over into a full-time academic career. So what I'm going to try and focus on is the importance of what we can offer to people who either want to move into healthcare research or have a healthcare background and want to extend that gathering research skills. Okay, so why is there a need for this? Well, there's a need for this for lots of reasons. There's a need for this because the health service moves. The health service now understands that research is critically important, no matter what level you are or no matter what discipline you come from. It's a core skill for people who work in the health service now. And there's a relationship between good clinical practice and research and learning. So the places that do research and learning usually have good clinical practice. So again, you've just heard the Academic Health Science Centre, one of the reasons why the Academic Health Science Centre is here, because it mix mixes high quality research, high quality clinical practice, and that's what we're after in this. Translational research, Steve works at one end of the research scale. I work at the other end, working mainly with actual people. Translational research now is a skill in its own right. So taking what people have developed elsewhere and moving it into an environment where people can use it. So again, it's a very different skill set, very important skill set, and that's what we hope these courses will actually look, teach. And the, the beauty of health service research, again, just reflecting what some of Steve has said, is that this is multidisciplinary now. The actual joy of doing research is that you're actually mixing in with people from very many different backgrounds. Just like Steve, some of the things that we've done is to work with engineers. And, you know, 10 years ago, I would never have thought I'd be sitting around a table with an engineer trying to design a micro camera to film people eating. But again, that's a, a way, again, a project that's up and running. You've seen this from Janice, but I'm going to just don't try and take all of it in. What's important there is what we've tried to do at Imperial is recognise that there's not one size that fits all for people who are coming to Imperial from a health service background particularly where they want to carry on their working life. So all of these courses now are offered part time. They all actually try and put in place systems to support people while they're actually doing the actual um, further degree here. And as you can see, the wide and varied mixture of MSCs, there's a mixture of exit points as well along the pathway. And so, again, this is my attempt to put my course in, by the way, because we were told not to put our own courses in, but I, my payoff for being here is actually putting this in. But what it exemplifies, again, is the importance of that multi multidisciplinary environment. So this is, this is a, a course that has four streams under it. And those four streams recognise different skills. So we've got clinical research, which is its umbrella term. Then we have translational medicine, mainly attracting physicians. We have the clinical research design and management, mainly attracting non-medical staff, so people from nursing and allied health professional backgrounds, human nutrition and uh, diabetes and obesity attract people from a wide variety of backgrounds, so from basic scientists to people who have experience within the health service. But what, they, what we're driving at is giving people skills in human research. Again, very, very um, important. What, what are we there for? Well, I think this is, although what you come here for is to walk away with a piece of paper at the end of it that gives you the qualification, these courses are more than that. You know, the, the piece of paper opens doors. So again, it's very important to understand what your direction of travel is and, maxim, and actually kind of dovetailing in to you in, in, into where you want to be, the course that gives you that. So it opens doors. The courses that we run give you a foothold in clinical research, which is important at different levels. You might have, have a nursing background, general nursing background, and want to work in nursing research. These give you that opportunity to do that. 
And it, it, it enhances your working life. Not everyone wants to go on um, and uh, complete a PhD or take things further down the line. They want to stop at the level of M MSc or MPhil. But what the course gives them is an understanding of research, how they can apply research within the health field that they work in. Why am I involved? Well, very similar to what Steve said. I love translational research. I love taking ideas and actually moulding them into an area where you can actually get something that helps someone from. It's bizarre, uh, uh, probably a Nobel Prize, but if anyone can fix or anyone can come up with the idea of how you record people's nutritional intake accurately, very simple, how can you get at what people eat every day? You'll be in for a Nobel Prize, because no one's actually done it yet. So again, getting that simple things into an, an arena where people can use them is very, very important. It's a pleasure to teach people like you this is easy stuff. This is really easy. You come in, you're enthusiastic, and it's great. You bounce ideas off it. It's wonderful. And it's a buzz seeing people actually take on skills that they had no idea about when they came into the course. So we've had people come in with a nursing background that have ended up at the M end of the MRES using cutting-edge technology for metabolomics. And that's fantastic. You know, it's wonderful for them. Okay. There's flexibility in this, just as Steve said before. These can be done part-time uh, or full-time. A lot of the courses now are used, as you heard, use blended learning, so you can do a lot of what we ask you to do here at distance. We have very, very good support, our personal tutors. Most of the projects run with two supervisors as well, so you're always guaranteed that you actually can ask your question or get support when, 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 when you want to. It brings together people from different backgrounds. And again, this is, this is great. You know, it's not just people from your own professional background, but different backgrounds, people from different parts of the world. And that, again, that gives the learning environment a real buzz. And lastly, you're coming into, as you heard at the very start, an international renowned academic health science centre. And on this site here, just over the road, you have the most wonderful clinical research facility, the most wonderful um, research bed for human nutrition right, that, 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 that you can get. So you can do just about anything here as far as translational research goes. It's, the actual environment is great. And the people that you'll be working with very much have a can-do attitude. You go to them with enthusiasm, they will respond with enthusiasm. Yeah, as I said, we've got world-class clin clinical research for, for, for facilities. And you also have opportunities to actually go to the other lectures and journal clubs. Well, thank you very much for listening.